Hello, welcome to Zach's Life and Kitchen. I'm Zach. Uh, today we're going to be cooking up some tuna steaks and some Brussels sprouts on the Weber kettle. Uh, so let's get ready to dig in. All right, so today we're going to do some tuna steaks and some shrimp. We're going to put those on some kebabs. So we're going to get these seasoned up. I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil on the tuna and just some salt and pepper. And we're just going to keep it simple. Olive oil on one side, a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish these tuna steaks up. And we'll, well, actually, no, never mind. We're basically just about done. We'll let you guys see the whole thing. Bam. Look at that goodness. Oops, forget the olive oil. Oops, might be a little much, but oh well. Mm -hmm. Salt. And some pepper. All right, so we got these ready. We're gonna go ahead and set these aside and then we're gonna get some shrimps ran through some kebabs. And then we're gonna head outside and get the grill ready. So we'll bring you back once we're heading out there to get the kettle ready. So stay tuned. All right, so now we got the tuna steaks all done. We got some shrimp, we got some nice I think stainless steel kebabs or steel kebabs or skewers actually, my bad. So I'm just gonna run some on these. My wife was nice enough to peel all these shrimp that we just got from Costco today. Went to Costco for a few things. Got a brisket too I'm gonna be doing. So subscribe and you'll be able to see that get done as well. We're doing that for one of my wife's friends from church that just had a baby. So I'm going to make her a brisket with all the sides and everything and take it over to her on Sunday evening, I believe. So one shrimp kebab. Not exactly like sure how many shrimp kebabs we're going to be making, but I'm pretty sure they're all going to be eaten tonight. Just don't forget, we have four kids, three of them with teeth that like to eat. Some of these we got a couple of these done already so we'll go ahead and get these finished up and we will actually bring you back once we are outside heating up the grill so stay tuned all right so we got the kettle with a bed of charcoal we got a ladder cube down there we got the chimney now we're gonna add charcoal to the chimney Nah, there's not much left. Go ahead and dump the rest in here. Get a nice hot cooking area. Now, what did I do with my lighter? Oh, I think it's actually starting to rain some more. So, it's gonna be some wet food. Light the lighter cube. All right, set the chimney down on top of it. And we'll come back in about 20 minutes and this should be ready. So stay tuned. We'll be back. Okay, so now we're back inside. We got the charcoal going on the grill to get ready. It's been going for a few minutes. We have been working on the sides. We're going to have some Brussels sprouts with dinner tonight. 
So we're just chopping them up, cutting the ends off, cutting them in half. We're gonna rinse them off, put some salt, pepper, and garlic on them. With probably about four or five tablespoons of butter in the in a foil pack, and we're gonna throw that on the grill um, before we throw everything else on. So I'm gonna finish that up. My wife has been inside working on the rest of it before she had to sit down and feed our youngest daughter who's getting a little hangry right now. She, she's about nine months old and she's not afraid to let you know when she's not happy. So I'm pretty sure you can probably hear her going off in the background. So we got that done. So all right, we're gonna go ahead and get these finished up and get them ready. Um, we'll get them ready to go into the foil. We're gonna rinse them up and everything. So when we get ready to wrap them, we'll we'll let you we'll let you know and we'll let you take a peek. So stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, so we're back. We got the Brussels sprouts ready. We got some foil laid out. We got some butter cut up. We got some salt and pepper and some garlic. So let's get this going. Oops. Hopefully we don't lose any. I usually lose at least two or three, maybe four, five, six or so. We got a nice little pile right there. Put that right there. Oh. So, we got some pads of butter here. I'm bumping the mic, so it's going to be a little scratchy here and there. Sorry, rip headphone users. Try to reposition the mic, so pick the body a little bit better, but apparently I failed at it. Put an advisory. Don't wear headphones. I have bleeding ears by the end of this. So that's done. Got some garlic powder. And don't be afraid to be generous. Because garlic powder is awesome. And so is garlic in general. Got some fresh cracked pepper going on. A big old pile of Brussels sprouts and butter and fresh cracked pepper. Now for some salt. May seem like a lot, but honestly, there's two pounds of Brussels sprouts here. So we need a lot. All right, now we're going to fold this up. Hopefully I can do it without destroying you guys again. All right, so while we, we're going to go ahead and get this folded and closed up, and we will bring you back once it is ready to go on the grill. So just have a seat, hang out, and feel free to go ahead and subscribe and comment and like while you're waiting. So we'll be back. Okay, so now we're back at the grill. We got the tuna. The grill is nice and hot. The Brussels sprouts should be just about nice and done. It's raining out. I'm trying to do all this. It's turning into a cluster. These are going to cook fast. Going to probably sear them for about a minute, minute and a half on each side. They'll be a nice 145 internal temperature, hopefully. So let's get these going. One and two. Check this out. Okay. Yeah. That failed. Okay. 
I'm gonna get the shrimp real fast. I need quite a minute yet, but some of these need to get put on. But well, let's bring this right here. One skewer. Is that that's on me? Two skewers. All right, so we're gonna just give the tuna a quick little rotate, maybe. Down, where did that go? Okay, one steak rotated. About to have two rotated. Oh crap, that don't come apart, did it? No, it didn't. But it got rotated. Come on, alright. This one's been long enough. Don't want to go too long. Oh, look at that. You got that in there? Yeah. That looks good. Alright, time to flippy this one. I put this on. No. No, not going for any zoom in shots. And other than talking to you guys on the camera, I'm also talking to the kids. Two of them are out here helping. I got production assistance for this low value production. Oh, look at that shrimp. Oh, this is going to be a little hot. But gotta get it done. That's my eyes! My eyeballs! Got this other skewer, huh? Two shrimp didn't get cooked. I saw. We'll get them taken care of. Okay. Time to rotate this tuna. Hey, Mason, tell you what. Run inside and in the cabinet under the microwave you'll see um containers like this one uh -huh. grab another one with the lid please okay. make it quick hurry okay. put the lid on it before you bring it out sorry you two people still working on it one was at the window she's in the shot that's fine sorry i shifted the camera a little bit we'll live Okay, this kebab is done. A couple of these shrimp need to cook a little bit more. So let's get the rest of them away from the heat source. Do that. I didn't see another lid that was big, that was small enough for this. That'll work. Uh, once I Okay, bring it over here closer to the window and then flip it upside right. No, over here, over here, by the window. Like that? Well, flip it up so I can put stuff in it. Oh, like this? Yeah, bring it here. Hold on to it, Mason. Oh. You're going to take it inside. Okay. <laughs> All right, those are done. Take those inside, please. And then come back out. Yeah, baby. Hi. We're making video for YouTube, and we're failing miserably. But you know what? It's still going on. How are we failing? We are, trust me. 
Trust me. Okay, I'm back to where we are. We're, this video's failing, honestly. But that's actually what might make it good. That's yeah, alright, Mason, if you're in it. Ow! You just, are you gonna edit what you just set out? Probably not. Ha ta 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 ta. Is that? Huh. That one didn't go on all the way. What do you mean it didn't go on all the way? Um, it's. Oh. Yeah. Ow, hot. Don't do like me and handle a hot grill with maybe just some nacho gloves on. Wear proper heat protection. Ooh, the shrimp is looking good though. What do you guys think? One day your YouTube videos will get way good. Yeah. Oh, that right there. Find the chair and she's messing up with it. Ah, oh, Mason. Tell her to get her down. Go Here, ahead. Mason, tell you what. Yep. Take this inside real fast, please. Careful, it's hot. Hold it by the edges. And then get her down, please. Oh, that one didn't get cooked down there. Oh, what was that? Oh. My umbrella just... Oh. Just got hit with heat. How's that look? Good. Good. Are you going to dip it in anything? I think we might have some cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce? Yeah, but I was thinking about melting some butter with some garlic for him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that sounds a little bit better, doesn't it? Oh yeah. I know. Check out it. I have failed Chinese. I have failed child labor. I need some Chinese child labor. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Zach? Huh? Are you going to edit out our voices? Probably not. I'm not that good at editing. One day you'll get better. Oh, I think those ones might be a little overdone right there. I can have it. Look at this child labor you can get. At least it's still good. There we go. Now they're flipped to the right way. I actually said that earlier in the better ben, video. Like, you get down. Here, Mason. Hold this. Keep the lid somewhat on it, please. Gwendolyn, nope. get down. Gwen, get down. You think you'll make another YouTube video? We're doing another one tomorrow. Oh, you are? Yep. Sweet. Mason, open the lid up. Bring it over here closer. Yeah. Huh. Do you think I'll be here to help you? Uh, yeah, but we're going to be doing it kind of late, so... Okay. There's that. I was wondering because... Wait, what are you doing it about? Uh, we're putting a brisket on. Oh, it's... <laughs> Remember that brisket I was telling you about earlier, Nolan? Yeah. Or it's mentioned earlier in the video? Yeah. Yeah. Twin lady, get down. Thank yeah. you. I was like, early in the video. Child labor. Yeah, child labor. Mason. Boom. Oh. I would hope it smells like shrimp. It is shrimp. <laughs> what else is it going to smell like? No kidding. Shrimp. Well, it is shrimp, so it better smell like shrimp. Mm -hmm. It's going to smell like food. Isn't it's that gonna right? It's going to smell like stuff that's going in your stomach. Mason, I think those are all cooked. Yeah, they looked all cooked. Oh, almost lost that one. You think we got enough shrimp though, guys? Oh, yes. <laughs> I think we do. Yeah. Oh, it's Those floating again. No, we need more. No, I'm still holding on to that. <sighs> we did get two packs. You did? Yeah. Three. No, uh, it gets a little expensive. Uh. All right, so that's that. So this has been a failed how-to not to cook this. That's just pretty good. We got Gwen over there. You should send it to one of your favorite YouTubers and ask how you did. Uh, no. Ow, hot, 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 hot. You know, one of these days I'll learn not to hold my hands over hot coals. 
Maybe. Maybe. What? There's one shrimp on here that's not cooked. And of course, it's gonna be the one all the way at the end. But those look pretty darn good, don't they? Yes. Especially the ones here. Well, these are, this is what I cooked ouch, last week for your mom's and my anniversary dinner. Yeah. We did some New York strip steaks and some shrimp kebabs. Yeah. Whew, they came out awesome. I want to get those shrimp in the box. What's in the box? Let me go over here, Benson. Bon. Hashtag not sponsored. Two. What was that? Open. I'm just getting all the oh. all right, close it. Huh. Do you ever want to be sponsored? Maybe. We'll see. Shrimp left. All right, Mason, open. All right, take those inside, please. All right, so that's that. We're done. We're gonna go eat. Uh, might show you what it, these tuna steaks look like when we cut them open, as long as I got them cooked right. It's only the second time I've ever done them. Second time I've ever done shrimp kebabs. So thank you for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you in a little bit. Now I think I, we're back inside. We're about to cut these up. I think I better hurry up. My wife's looking at me like she's about to kill me. I think I'm sleeping on the couch tonight, so hopefully we did these right. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's how these are supposed to be cooked. Surprised, honestly. Not gonna lie. Surprised. Yeah, you're not going to sleep on the couch tonight. No, I think I'm still sleeping on the couch. Because dinner's so late. It's like 8 10, guys. Oh. We're in trouble. So, hold up. Still got a recording? Look at this. Look at that. Nice and seared on the outside. You got that nice medium, oh, closer to rare on the inside. That was going to be some good eating tonight. So, i um, going to let you guys go. We're going to go eat. And hopefully I'm not outside in the rain in the doghouse. But I'll take the couch. So, uh, tune in next time and we'll see what we got going. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow, share. Say hi. Uh, thank you. Enjoy. All right, one thing I forgot to mention, which is always very important, is make sure you properly hone your knives before you start cutting anything. They'll thank you later because it'll last a lot longer. And also clean up after yourself. Your wife, your spouse, your husband, your significant other, whoever is living with you that you're cooking for, will thank you. So just make sure you clean up after yourself. That's my PSA for the day. Thank you.